the one that is on eBay for a whopping £445. It's very, oh yeah, I like that. And I won this on eBay for £71. So I actually placed a bid for this and won them. Hey guys, welcome back to another video from me. My name is Alexis Ajay. For those of you who do not know me, I create content around fashion, food and lifestyle. Those are the three things that I love. So welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video and make sure you press the bell so you do not miss a video. I'm also on Instagram, so make sure you follow me on there. I have lots of things that I do on there tips tricks i share way more there than i do on youtube naturally just because that's like it's instagram at the end of the day but yeah welcome so today on lex taught me what are you learning today lesson number one how to shop luxury items successfully on ebay so i'm going to be looking down at my phone because i've made a lot of notes about this video as you can see in the title this is a highly requested video a lot of you have asked me by instagram like you know can you please do a video about ebay and shopping on ebay so this will be your first lesson first lesson of 2022 so make sure you've got your pen paper cup of tea coffee whatever it is that you want to drink and make your notes because it's going to be very detailed video and i want you guys to be successful in shopping luxury items on ebay so i want to start off this video by showing you the things that i've one on ebay or bought on ebay and then i'll go into the steps on how you can be successful i think that works best so i'm just going to start with the obvious one that's in the thumbnail of this video okay please guys these shoes were worn in ghana a few times so they're a bit scuffed up and i literally only unpacked the other day and i've made the biggest mistake i left a lot of my luxury items in there for three weeks and a lot of them have been mangled and misshaped so that's happened to these shoes but i think once i wear them they'll correct themselves so first things up is these beautiful amina mawadi begum heels now these are the most sought after heels in fashion like i'm just going to put it out there these have been on trend for about three years now since she kind of started and they're just the hardest shoes to come by they're always sold out um whatever color it is they're always sold out and i've wanted a pair of these for ages i remember when they first came out i actually had the opportunity to get these but i picked a different pair of um amina mawadis because i wanted to be different i don't know who begged me because it's not every day be different alexis sometimes just follow the herd but i bought a different pair um well as it by my husband gifted me a different pair for my birthday in 2018 um and yeah they're nowhere near as popular as these pair but they're still beautiful and they're still amina mawadis but the bagons in this lovely fuchsia pink i want these on ebay for a whopping 445 pounds now you guys know retail price of this is double they go for about 800 sometimes in the 900 range depending on the style of shoe that you get um i'm going to show you some examples here or some of the prices um and yeah they can go for a lot of money and resale price let's not even talk about that resale price you can get amina moadi bayams in the like if it's a really popular color you're gonna spend in the thousands like thousand pounds nine hundreds maybe even just over a thousand pounds like they're so popular they're so expensive and they're just so beautiful like i feel like She's made her mark with these shoes. They're going to be a statement shoe. Like the Manolos, the classic Manolos with the crystal brooch at the front. I feel like this is going to be the same thing for Amina. It's like the new age Gen Z millennial version of the Manolos. And I feel like they're just going to be classics in your wardrobe. I still want more. I still want the yellow satin pair. I want the black pair. And maybe I want like four pairs that I can pick for. From I actually won these via bid. So I placed the bid and I won them. Whereas some other items I just bought for the price that it was up there for so just so you know these ones were one okay so the second item is this burberry camera bag so this gorgeous gold chain and i love this bag because it's like my mum bag crossbody bags are my mum bags and i just love that i can just fling them over my coat my jacket over my coat <laughs> my jacket whatever i'm wearing and be on my way and i don't have to worry about things spilling out i love a crossbody as a mum like i don't have time for anything else when i'm out with my kids 
so it's this crossbody and i've got another crossbody which is a gucci bag but this one i won from ebay as you can see it's black it's embossed beautifully with the new tb logo that did so well when it came out in like i think it was 2018 or 17 i'll find out the details but whenever they change things up at burberry it was such a popular print popular pattern and it just made sense so i bought this from ebay and i got it for 370 pounds it retail price of this bag was in the 800s i believe 800s about that much i will find the price and i'll pop it on the screen just to confirm but yeah it's such a gorgeous bag and it works so well for me practicality perfect it's got the extra bit at the front it's actually my airport bag as well sometimes if i'm with the children and we're traveling i'll just stick that on my chest um across my body and be on my way passports snacks whatever it's a good bag and it was 370 on ebay i bought this one i paid a bite in our price i didn't actually bid for this just so you know i'll go into the details about how i knew and all this kind of stuff i just really just want to show you what i got first next up on my list of things that i've won from ebay luxury items is this prada baseball cap um i wanted a baseball cap um like a branded one for a while and i saw this one on ebay and it's just it's kind of like it's like a navy a dark navy black yeah. it's nylon material the you know the famous Prada nylon and it just works on casual days when I just you know nursery run I can't put it on now because I don't want to ruin my makeup but nursery runs and whatnot and I won this on eBay for 71 pounds so I actually placed a bid for this and won them for one won it for 71 pounds this cap actually goes in the price range of like 250 something pounds so i've saved quite a bit of money on this one and it was brand new just to bear in mind all these items are brand new back to burberry again i want i bought these things at the same time actually so i bought this my lovely burberry puffer jacket like you can't really see it on the screen but i'll show you just up close if it focuses it's got the Burberry print on it as well, the TB Thomas Burberry print on the coat. It's printed all over. Um, it's got Burberry England all on the black buttons. I love that it's black, it's not silver, it's not gold, so I don't have to like worry about mixing hardwares and stuff like that. It just works, it's a muted jacket. And then it's like, shiny puffery inside wish it was reversible but they were very clever it's not but they should have made it reversible um and that's it it's got a detachable hood with a zip and this has literally been my winter coat since i bought it in 2020 and i got that from ebay for 409 pounds um that coat was retailing in the 1200s 1500s at the time and i got it for 409 pounds so i saved i can't do maths i'm not gonna pretend i can know my mathematics and say how much i saved so i'm just gonna pop it on the screen and yeah i saved a lot of money <laughs> i saved a lot of money with that jacket um and i love this coat so much like it's something that i'm gonna have forever so it was a great investment for 409 pounds i can't remember did i bid or did i i think i made an offer for it i think it was a bit higher and then i made an offer and got a discount not sure can't remember but good deal nonetheless um next up on our list of items that we have bought from ebay luxury items is this beautiful balenciaga blazer now um if you guys have watched my vlogs you would have seen me share this in the past and i yeah love this blazer i haven't worn it yet though that's the thing the thing about me and color i have a love hate relationship i th I, I do wear color i wear a lot of green um and that's because i feel like green is a very easy color to match items with match muted tones and neutral colors with 
bright like prime like bright colors like this I find hard so no I have worn it I wore it actually no I'm lying I remember now I wore it on my anniversary last year in October and it's actually like a blazer dress so it can be worn on its own or it can be worn with something I love this like monogram button kind of thing going on here i think that's really gorgeous and it's got balenciaga what's the word lasered into the buttons um and i wore it with my match match shoes and my jody but yeah this is the blazer that i won from ebay another great investment i mean even just looking at it with what i'm wearing now i might just rock this one day let's see yeah i love that I really not this hair. Oh. I really not this hair, but I do love how this looks together. It's very oh yeah, I like that. That's nice. Okay, it's too hot to wear it now, but yeah, that's the um that's the blazer that I got from eBay, and it was such a steal when I tell you how much I got it for and how much it was going for online at the time. There was only, I think it's 2019 season. I got it from season 2019. I think spring, summer or... Yeah, I think it's spring, summer 2019. It retailed for £2,250. And I won it for £200. I mean... I mean... I mean... <laughs> is that ideal or is that ideal? Like... 280 pounds i got it like almost at 10 percent 10 percent of the price if my math if my maths don't fail me 10 percent of the price so 280 pounds and it was retailing for 250 200 2250 pounds online i found it online in a couple places at the time just to check cross check that it was like a legit piece from the collection and whatnot and yeah, facts and figures. So, I mean, probably one of my best buys. Last but not least is a little Bottega Veneta clutch. Now, as you can see, this is in the new packaging, so it's very recent. Um, oh, well, Daniel Lee's era, he's gone now. But I got this Bottega Green clutch this is like the traditional um not traditional but before like daniel lee took over and this new guy that i can't remember his name this was like the statement back from bottega like if you was a bottega girl or a fashion girl either way you had to have one of these clutches i remember these being really popular around 2014 2015 and if you didn't have one then what was you really doing kind of thing so yeah if you was an it girl this was your bag your evening bag your evening clutch and i got it in this lovely dark forest green and you guys already know my relationship with green is very heavy and i love it so much but yeah i don't have a green bag in this color and i love that it's dark because it can it, you know it's not bright it can go with a lot of things more than a bright green I actually had my eye on another one but I missed out on it because I wasn't really paying attention to my eBay at the time but then this one came up and I won it and it's so lovely it's got a little bit of scuffs from because I took it to Ghana and it did fall down a couple times but yeah um let me tell you how much I got that for I got that bag for 250 pounds now Okay, so they don't actually have any on the Bottega website, which I find strange because I know they're still available in um, stores. But if memory serves me correctly, they go in like the 1000 range. Either way, I reckon that was a very good deal for £250. Um, yeah, and that's basically all I bought. All I've bought over the years. I have bought other things like older things, but I just don't feel like I should show you those because they're kind of like old now and out of trend um, and not in season anymore. But most of these things were kind of in season when I bought them. So I'm just trying to show you guys and teach you guys and let you know that you can actually get things that are in season or not too old 
like maybe two, three seasons old, you can still grab great bargains on eBay. Right, so it's time to start our lesson. I should have some like teacher glasses on or something. Anyway, so first, first steps first, create an account. If you don't have one already, you need to create an account on eBay. Secondly, you need to search for your favorite brands. So I've gone to the liberty of sharing a screenshot of how to do this. So you search for your favorite brands, you save them and you turn on the notifications. This way you can make a list of all your favorite brands. So example, you can search Bottega Veneta clutch bags and then you'll see a list, a lot of clutch bags come up and the ones that you like, you just heart them and you save them. They automatically go into your watch list when you heart them or when you save them, same thing. And then you turn on your notifications. So eBay app will then to ask you, would you like to turn on the notifications for this search at the top? So at the top of the search, you will see your search and you can actually save the search. So when you turn on your notifications and you save the search, then you then start creating a list of brands of things that you have searched and you save them. So when you turn on the notifications and someone lists a new item, for example, like Bottega Jody mini bag. If you have saved something along them lines, it doesn't have to be that specific, but if you saved Jody bag, uh, Bottega Jody bag, you will get a notification that someone has listed one. Or if you don't want to turn on your notifications, when you go into the app and you go to your saved list, blue dots by your searches, that will let you know that they have a new listings under this product or bag or shoe or whatever it is that you have searched. So once you found the item you like, watch the item it's always worth checking out the sellers other items so you can just scroll down to the sellers other items and then you'll be able to tell if the items are authentic so you check out the description first and foremost and then if you look at their other items and they have other items for sale that's a good sign because then you know this is a legit person and they sell stuff often you've seen how many feet that you know the amount of their feedbacks or their reviews um so you can see that people have bought from them in the past you may be able to check out other items that they have listed so more than likely if someone has listed items and it's a luxury item they'll have other luxury items and that's also a good indication that this is not a fake account or you know fake goods now i want to talk to you about how to spot counterfeit goods i'm looking down at my phone because i've got notes just remember that sorry guys seller's feedback is a big giveaway if the price is too good to be true and the seller has zero feedback, don't go near the item. More than likely, it's a fake account with fake goods and they're gonna rip you off. More time in the images, the images might not be there. So even though they're using an image and it looks like someone's hand and it looks like someone's at home and they've taken a picture of the image, more time it's not their image and it's definitely not their item. So first things first, you need to check out what the seller's selling. If they don't have, if they're selling a bunch of like low end, like really low end, brick a brack crusty stuff, and they have a beautiful pair of shoes amongst their items, be aware, be aware. I'm not saying it's fake, but the two don't really add up. As I mentioned before, more time, if they're selling a luxury item, they'll have, and they're selling items, they'll have other luxury items or high end items. Might not be luxury, but it might be high end, high street, you know, something that like balances it out and not bric-a-brac and then a pair of i don't know gucci brand new sandals so read the description of the item in the on ebay these days if they haven't stated the item's authenticity in the description you can still ask don't be afraid to ask these people so you can ask them is this item authentic if they give a story about oh i don't know it was a gift blah 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 leave it alone leave it alone it's not worth it more than more time it's fake and it's going to be a copy or counterfeit but ebay now has authenticity green ticks so that's a really good way to spot authentic items on ebay but not all items have that but that doesn't mean that they're fake okay i feel like the authentic items that ebay gives the green tick to is like really large like corporate accounts that have ebay accounts if you're just like a personal seller and you literally just want to sell your stuff, you're not always going to get that authenticity tick. So that's not the be all end all. So like I mentioned, check the description. The description is a big giveaway. 
Final thing, packaging is also a big giveaway. Some counterfeit goods copies are really, really good. And if the item is new in a box, um, zoom in on that box, okay? Zoom in and compare it to, I don't know, your favorite influencers on Boxer Video. Trust me, it makes all the difference because these people are getting really clever. Like even to the point where they give you authenticity cards and they have good ribbons, like you really just need to do your due diligence and check everything out. So make your comparisons, okay? Make your comparisons and that's where, that's the way you'll see. So yeah, I know that's like one of the main things that puts people off from buying on eBay. They don't want to get bumped. They don't want to buy counterfeit goods. They don't want to buy fake items and I get it. Neither do I, but I still shop on there. Do you know what I mean? Because I know how to and if anything is fake that I have bought and don't get me wrong, I have bought a fake item before and you just send it straight back. You send it straight back to the person, you raise a claim, get your money from PayPal and it's done. You, you're not gonna, more than likely, you're not gonna get ripped off, ripped off to that point. But it's still a hassle and it's, you know, prevention is better than cure. So it's better to know what you're doing first before you go ahead and try and buy something on eBay. So next up, I wanna teach you how you can win items successfully on eBay. So first of all, you need to set your budget in your head. Yeah, set your budget and stick to it. If you're going to bid, do not place your item until the final second. And I'm telling you, the final second. So when you've got an item that you're watching and your notifications are off go, you need to turn them on because you will miss that item altogether. It's happened to me so many times and I'm just like, oh my God, that thing went for like such a good price and I could have won it. But because my notifications were off, I missed it. So if you know you're bidding for something, turn on the notifications for that time period. And if you're not bidding for anything or not watching anything, then you can turn them off so you don't get like random notifications throughout the day. I would say don't place your bid more than two seconds to go. Like you need to be on your phone like this. And it, this is such a rush, I'm not gonna lie. Like my heart's always beating when I'm about to bid for something. I'm like literally like, and then I press it and I'm like, yes, I won. It's, so, it's actually a really good feeling, I'm not gonna lie, but um, you gotta place your bid no more than two seconds in, um, and nine times out of 10, you'll win the bid, okay? Just set it, your budget, whatever your budget is. So let's just say the item is going, it's on 80 pounds, for example, and it's the last second, but you don't wanna pay more than 200 pounds for that item, because trust me, things go up last second, put 200 pound there, boom. You know, that's your budget. If it goes over that and you've missed it, well, tough, tough to tease, and you've, you, you've lost it. But if 200 pound, you know, you've seen this item, it's brand new, and it's on such a good deal, and you know the retail price is like 10 times more, and you know, 200 pounds, okay, I know I can spend 200 pound on this, or even 100 pound, or 150 pound, whatever it is your budget, place that at the last second, honestly, the last two, one second to go, Place it then, nine times out of 10, you're going to win the bid. If you try and place a, a, a bid for like 81 pounds, a girl, you've lost already because someone is somewhere sitting down and they've already put a larger, you know, bracket price on their budget so that they have a good chance of winning. So make sure you don't put, and I wouldn't say, don't put anything, if you've got an item for a certain amount, you need to put at least 50 pound more than what, it's going for at the end of the bid, at least 50 pound more. So if it's out of your budget, then it's out of your budget. But if it's not, go higher or whatever your budget is, just has to be more than 50 pounds in my opinion. Otherwise you're not gonna win, okay? I told you that. Don't come back to me all. Next up, sometimes there's items on there that you really want and you don't want us to buy yet and it's there for such a good price. You can actually make an offer. Some sellers do say make an offer on their listing and some don't still make the offer anyway so if it's got make an offer then click the button and make the offer and if not you can always send them a message and say hello hi i'd like to know your buy it now price and they might not tell you they will or you can just offer a buy it now price and say i'd like to buy it now for this amount sometimes they accept sometimes they reject you it's fine you move on that's life so make the offers confidently if it's a make an offer button. I would say always make an offer 100, no more than 100 or 150 pounds 
below their asking price okay because it becomes offensive if you try and ask for something really cheap they're just this is like come on so if it's 750 pounds i wouldn't say i would say offer to buy it for 650 pounds or 600 pounds no more than that no less than that sorry or you could say um can i have this item for 700 pound including packaging delivery you can do that more time they'll accept it so like i said if it's 750 and you offer 700 and ask for package and delivery included in the price of the 700 you might get yourself a good deal and they probably will accept it and you're laughing things to note now this is the last of the lesson boys and girls reserved prices now those are such a pain in the side reserved prices so you'll be on ebay you'll be scrolling 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 up oh that's a good price you stop then you see reserve price you're like, what's, what's, a, what's a reserve price a lot of the time you even miss the reserve price and sometimes i don't even put the reserve price so what a reserve price is that no matter how much the item goes for so let's just say the item goes for a hundred pounds and you're like yes i've won it for a hundred pound girl if they put a reserve on that item you're not getting it for a hundred pounds the reserve might be 700 pounds and if they don't get their reserve or close to the reserve you're not getting the item and i feel like reserves are really annoying because it's almost like just put a buy it now price then people just buy it for whatever you want to reserve it for so um yeah look out for reserves i feel like they're a bit of a pain but um the item will not sell lower than the reserve price so if you see a reserve and you go and try and offer them more than likely they're just going to ignore you or say no because there's a reserve price there so i feel like i've covered all the bases either way you can be successful and buy luxury items from ebay like if you're and also even better if you don't mind pre-loved items you can get really good pre-loved items the brands i would say stay away from on ebay chanel um i'll say stay away from chanel leather goods because there's so many fake and really good fake counterfeits stay away from hermes leather goods because they're definitely fake counterfeits um i just feel like there's way too much money to part with for a bid or you know and for it to you have to do the whole claim like even though it's quite easy to get your money back it is a hassle especially if it's a large sum of money so please i would say just avoid those kind of brands and i would also say brands or items that become extremely popular so example the amina mawadis i believe like for example that was a really <laughs> i was really lucky with those actually because they are such a popular shoe there's so many counterfeits and so many fake ones but another way sorry this is another way that you can actually tell if something is legit or not the seller so there are some charities on ebay and i like to shop from them or even like pre-loved stores that have ebay accounts they're great and they have their address and they have everything so like for example the amina moradis i won them from a charity that sells designer stuff the um, burberry bag and burberry coat i won the burberry coat from a seller who has a store a designer store in wembley for example so they had an ebay store the burberry bag was just a seller a regular seller like myself but they had a plethora of luxury items that they're already selling so those are the things that you kind of need to look out and feel out on ebay like i mean it's a lot to take in but if you follow these steps that i've given you you will definitely be successful at winning some luxury items on ebay so that's it for today's lesson ltm lex taught me make sure you hashtag if you buy anything from ebay win i want to know tell me dm me comment in the section box below because i want to be excited for you i want you to be successful like because we all love luxury goods let's be honest like we love i i really like luxury goods i'm not going to shy away from that i'm not going to feel guilty for that like i love designer stuff because at the end of the day the quality is second to none nine times out of ten like you do get some brands and this is like everything's a bit mm, higgy hagger but nine times out of ten you get more cost per wear you get to enjoy the item longer because it's expensive so you take care of it better they last longer i mean i just that's just 
it for me when it comes to luxury goods so I mean if you really really want to start investing in pieces and buying pieces for your wardrobe but you don't necessarily have the budget to buy things straight from the store this is a good way to start collecting luxury items so yeah guys i hope you really enjoyed that lesson i was lesson number one for 2022 and um, there's going to be more lessons coming up in different formats so look out for those and make sure you follow me on instagram alexis at underscore aj and make sure you subscribe subscribe share this video and i hope to see you guys soon take care now bye